Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely berries and stripes textured crochet blanket. That is super fun. I really, really enjoyed making it. In fact, I'm going to make another one. The materials you will need for this project are two of the Karen One Pound and I used the soft gray mix. And today I'm going to be using the pale green. And one skein of Red Heart Super Saver in the Aran, Aran color, A-R-A-N, which is their off-white, which is my very favorite. And then I used a number nine clover hook. It was nice and slidey. And the uh, US equivalent is the M slash N nine millimeter hook. The three stitches that you're going to need to know for this project are the single crochet, the berry stitch, and the front post single crochet. So this blanket is five feet by four feet, five feet by four feet. And uh, so you're gonna wanna chain enough to equal approximately five feet because this is, we're gonna crochet this the long way first. So for me, that was chain 100. And when you're doing your chains, uh, you always wanna back into the stitch, yarn over. And you wanna go nice and slow. You have to have an even number of crochets, of, of chains because at the beginning and at the end of each row, <clears throat> you're going to end with a single crochet. Now we have our nice, loose, stretchy base chain. And we're going to, starting from first chain from the hook we don't skip any we're going to do a single crochet and for this whole row we're going to do single crochet all right so here I am with one chain row one single crochet row and I'm at the last space here, I'm going to do a single crochet, chain one, and then turn like a page in a book. Then, so chain one, turn, and then it, we're gonna work into the first chain space, or first stitch space and work a cro single crochet. So at the beginning of every row and at the end of every row is going to be a single crochet. Now, for this row, we're going to do our berry stitches. So single crochet, and then in the next space is your berry stitch. So to do the berry stitch, we yarn over into the space, pull through one, yarn over, and then chain one, yarn over, back in, pull through a loop, and then you'll have one, two, three, four, five on your hook, and then you'll pull through all five. 
and it can be a little fiddly, especially at the beginning. When you get a little more blanket underneath you, they become a lot easier to do, so don't get frustrated. So then the next space, you work a single crochet. Now between each berry stitch, you're gonna work a single crochet. And that single crochet, I had a little trouble remembering that it was there when I'm doing the berry stitch rows that I, I count them out and I'll show you how I do that. I did try to make a little song, but I found that this was way easier. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then I say, either in my head or out loud, usually in my head, <laughs> single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, single crochet. And I found when I do this on these, on these long rows that I don't miss a spot. Now it'll be a little bit easier to see as we get more rows in there. Yay, I counted right. So we have an even number so that our row ends with a single crochet. And then we'll chain one and turn. So the next row we're going to do is a single crochet row. And so we do already chained one and the beginning and the end of every row is a single crochet. So we do a single crochet and then we work in to the tops here. So there's one single crochet and then It's sort of like there's a long one to work into and a, and a shorter one, if you can see that. All right, so I've completed the single crochet row. So just to recap, we have our chain, we have one row of single crochet, we have our berry stitch row with uh, single crochet in between each berry, and then we have another uh, single crochet row. So now what we're going to do is, remember every row ends and begins with a single crochet. Do our single crochet, chain one, turn. And now we are going to do our single crochet front post row. Uh, the first thing we do is a single crochet. And then our next stitch is going to be a single crochet, except instead of working through doing a regular single crochet, working underneath, we are going to work sideways around the post. So the one thing to keep in mind is that this this the square space right here is is where you work the stitch. And so it you may think to work the first post is where you start, but this is not so. You've already worked this stitch with your single crochet. 
So you skip that post and you go to this post. And then it is just a regular single crochet. So I went ahead and crocheted ahead a bit uh, just to let you see what it looks like. And um, so as you can see, we've got our berry stitches and then this is what the front post single crochet looks like. It's this really pretty ribbed look. Now this is the front side of the project or the texture side. And then this is what the back is gonna look like. So it's it's got you know a right side and a back side. So when you're crocheting, you will be looking at this side when you're doing all of your single crochet spaces or all of your single crochet rows. And when you're doing your berry stitch and your um, uh, front post single crochet, you'll be looking at the back side of the project. So one, I guess, little bit tricky thing is that when you are working your um, single crochet front post, when you get to the end of the, of the front side row, you chain one and turn. And then when you get to the end of the back side, you will chain two and turn. And that's only on the uh, front post single crochets, not on the berry stitch rows. These rows will be one um, chain one and turn, and these will be chain two and turn. So what I do is uh, I mark the side that I have to do the chain two with a stitch marker so I don't get confused. So I just kind of you know, put it in anywhere. And then as the blanket grows, I just, you know, move it up so that I remember at the end of my uh, single crochet front post rows that on the back side that I chain two and turn. So I'll just show you what I mean. So here is the last stitch of my single crochet row. So I just do a regular chain one and turn. And now I'm going to work the front post single crochet. And so I work into the first space, a single crochet, and then I don't work this post, I work this post. So the second post in is where I work the single crochet around the post. So there's the next. And that's what pops that chain out in front, is working around the post. So we're at the end of our front post row. So I'm gonna work the last post. This the, the end part here doesn't count as a post. This is the last post right here. So I'm gonna work around that. One single crochet. And then I'm going to work a regular single crochet because remember at the front and the end, of every row is a single crochet. So we work a single crochet there, and then we're gonna chain two on this side. And I, like I said, I've got it marked with my stitch marker so I don't forget, you know, if I'm watching a program. <laughs> I see it, I know I've gotta do two. So chain two and turn, and then you work right into 
your very first space again. Your single crochet and then this is your single crochet row so on this this blanket this is a baby size blanket so I'm I'm just doing three on the larger size blanket I was doing six so that's a total of 12 I'll have it all written out uh, and it'll be posted on daisyfarmcrafts.com and you can read the directions there, but it's really easy and it's really fun. So I'm gonna finish uh, crocheting this blanket and then I'll show you how to do the fringe. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna attach the fringe. And I attach the fringe on the uh, turning chain row, which can tend to be, you know, a little squampus. And so I, um, do two rows of single crochet. Oh, I always forget, I don't need to do that. All right, so I find which corner I'm gonna start at and just cast on with a slip stitch. Then, so I'm there at the corner. So I'm going to work in just one single crochet. Oh yes, and this is completely optional, but I um, sized down from the nine to the five and a half, which is a I, US equivalent is the letter I. And um, the reason for this is I wanted the fringe just to be a little more narrow, a little tighter than the regular than the gauge of the blanket. So it's entirely up to you if you want to do that. It was just a personal preference on my point on my part. So I sized down to a five and a half. And then I am just going to do one single crochet into each of the turning chain spaces here. The, also, the other thing that I like about using the um, smaller hook is it um, my ends, the turning chain ends, uh, tend to be a little looser. And so this tightens it up and makes it a little straighter. So I'm gonna do two rows of single crochet from which to work the fringe. So at the last space, I'll just finish my single crochet and I chain one and turn. and do one more row. So there's the last single crochet. So we have two rows of single crochet and see how nice and, uh, you know, even it made the, made the edge to work from there. And so, uh, I'm going to turn and we're going to chain out. We'll chain one, work into this first single crochet, a slip stitch, and then we're going to chain out one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So that's our first little piece of fringe. So I chained seven because I want to do a shorter fringe, but you can make your fringe as long as you like. And work into the next, and it's just slip stitches. So there we go. We just come right back down the chain. Okay. 
and then I work it right back into the original space with the last slip stitch here. And then the next place, next space. I want this to be dense, so I'm gonna work uh, fringe in every space. You do a slip stitch and then chain out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so as you see here, you just work straight across and you'll get a nice little fringe border working every space. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, if you would like a pattern link sent to you directly, just comment pattern, please. And I will be happy to provide one for you. Otherwise, just search Daisy Farm Crafts under blankets and you'll find it there. Have a good one.